Deputies say this is a clear example of why people should call law enforcement instead of taking matters into their own hands. In this case, a verbal fight took place and a gun was pulled out. It's enough to make any parent upset. It seems that either the drivers aren't paying attention or maybe they don't care. There is no excuse for blowing past a stop school bus. The Pasco deputies don't want parents to handle it the way this guy did Tuesday. Investigators say 43-year-old Daniel Carroll followed a driver home for making a left-hand turn in front of his daughter's stopped school bus. The confrontation didn't go well. He got out, he uh, drew his weapon, and he pointed at the victim, and the victim was in fear for his life. That's uh, something extreme. According to deputies, Carroll admitted he followed the driver home to address his dangerous driving around the stopped school bus. But Carroll claims he only drew the weapon when the driver threatened him. The sheriff's office says it all could have been avoided if law enforcement had been called first. It could have been dangerous, uh, but again, the suspect should have called law enforcement, reported it, and then we could have taken a look at it. He should not have taken the law into his own hands. Look, bus is still stopped with the lights on. Back in November, these Pasco parents had the same complaints about drivers who don't stop for school buses picking up or dropping off kids. But they got the sheriff's office involved. And deputies issued dozens of tickets. We ask our citizens all the time, you know, be our eyes and ears. You know, let us know what's going on. Daniel Carroll was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. Investigators say a witness saw the confrontation take place and confirmed what the victim described.